All right. Guess what day it is? It's a. It's well, Friday, <laughs> and it's a new update for Hot Dogs for Shoes and Hand Grenades. Oh, look at this! Got a whole bunch of uh, H and K weapons here. Uh, I'll get to those two later. But right now, let me check out the uh, HK H and K 69, or in the game, it's called the H 69. Hold on. Support ordinance. Uh, is it in here? It is the H 69A1. All right, but it's a uh, Heckler and Coke, and uh, it's a grenade launcher. Oh, cool! Look at that. Let's go under the light here and see some details. Ooh, is there a uh, oh. hmm. there's no uh, safety lever? Okay. Left and uh, right on the touchpad, open up the, uh, or break open the barrel here. And, uh, oh yeah, nice. Okay. Two meters, 200, 250, 300, 350. A little, uh, elevated uh, little sight there, whatever you want to call that. Retractable stock. <laughs> I gotta pump this thing up before you gotta use it. <laughs> it looks like a bicycle pump. All right, and uh, of course we got grenades. Whoop! Come on, there we go. Again, no safety, so you don't have to worry about it. But you do have to pull back the hammer. And uh, let's uh, go. Go thirty meters. Oh wait, that's one hundred and fifty. Okay. Sorry, I thought they said fifty. No, it's one hundred and fifty. It is 50. Okay, well. Hmm. Does this have a virtual stock? I don't think this has a virtual stock uh, enabled for it. It's two handed. No, yeah. So, alright. It's cool. Good stuff. Oop. Oh, I gotta pull back the hammer, I forgot. Of course, you can fire one handed. Cool stuff. Really nice. Too bad it, there's no uh, under barrel, but uh, Anton said he's working on those, so I expect those to come within this year. Maybe next year, who knows. Okay, so the other stuff that Anton has added are these uh, H and K USPs. This one's a USB tactical. It's got the threaded barrel. And uh, let me check out the controls here. We've got a safety lever, which is uh, up on the touchpad. Safe, fire. Got some nice sights. Not nothing too fancy, but uh, yeah. Uh, what else? Um, anything else uh, of notable interest in this gun? No? That's pretty cool. And the H&K USP match. Yeah, you know, I mean Half-Life 2, Tomb Raider. Uh, this is a weight. It's not a compensator, so uh, just remember that. See, there's the barrel is not ported. You know, there's no holes in the top of the barrel. So it's not a compensator. It's a weight. For more accurate firing, and uh, let me just uh, stick a magazine in there. Put one of these babies in. Again, so up on the touchpad is uh, safe and fire. And uh, oh, that's a little too far. Maybe I can hit it from here. Well, that was close. You know what? Let's bring it uh, closer. I'm sensing a common theme today. It's all HK weapons. Heckler and Coke. It's Coke. It's not Koch. It's Coke. Coke is in cocaine. Okay, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot the uh, USB tactical. Bring that with me here. We've got. Oh, well, these magazines don't work, do they? No. This is the VP9. This is the one I, that I mistakenly thought was the John Wick gun. It's not. 
but I'm not too familiar with that. I'm familiar with these, though. Yeah. I used to know a person uh, who owned a uh, USB compact. It was one of the sexiest guns I've ever held. <laughs> I'm not joking. It was really good. Okay, so. I forgot to fire the USB compact. Let's uh, stick a magazine in there. Make sure it's on fire, not on safe. Ooh, nice. Pretty nice. Okay. What I wanted to do was I wanted to put some attachments on here because Anton also added this thing. It's a 90 degree rail adapter thingy. Next one lock this? No? We're gonna have to uh, mess around with that. And uh, let's see. I want to uh, make a. Uh, Mark 23, SOCOM pistol. So where is the uh, suppressor for that? It is the, uh, what's it called? It's a Knight's Armament suppressor. I just, uh, it's something different here in the game. Uh, QC9, there we go. Got the QC9, I'm gonna stick that there. And I'm going to add some laser lights. Like a laser three and a, uh, Huh. Does the flashlight work? I think the flashlight is a little too big. Alright. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. So, let's build ourselves a Mark 23. Okay, that looks pretty straight there. Okay. It's light there. Eh. Not that great. I'm going to try something else. Let me see. Very glow light. Maybe that might work. A little bit smaller, but... Uh... Oh, yeah, there we go. That's perfect. That's great. I mean, it's not, you know, an infrared module or the uh, laser, the uh, LAM, the is it laser aiming module, whatever it's called. But it'll do. Oh, there's my suppressor. Nice threaded barrel there. Let me showcase that. Ooh, look at that. Get that baby on there. Yes, we got a sort of representation of the SOCOM pistol. Get your solid snake on. Turn on the light. Turn on the laser. <laughs> it's purple, but you know, what can you do, right? Actually, hold on. This is a little... I want it to line up. Is that good enough? I think that's good enough. Yeah, that's pretty lined up. Now I try, you know, it's time to do your best uh, solid snake impression. Metal Gear. <laughs> Metal Gear. That's the only thing that solid snake knows how to say. Okay, so yeah, there we go. The closest uh, thing we get to a uh, Mark 23. Put that there. And of course the USB match. Let me see if I can add some attachments to this thing. I don't think I can. It'd be kind of weird if I could. Oh, I could. Oh, I can. Look at that. Oh, that's crazy. Hold on. Did I just spawn another one? Oh, okay. Let's try, uh... Try, uh... Let's try modding this thing. Hold on. I'm gonna stick a little, uh, flashlight there. That's not lined up. Hold on. I gotta get this just right. There. Nope, nope, that's a little. There we go. That's relatively straight, don't you think? Oh, can I put a uh, suppressor on this thing? Let's see. Oh, I can. Oh, wow, that is that is pretty cool. We just lock that slide back. Oh. That is pretty cool. I, you know, I like the look of that. It's got that little extended uh, front part. Well, you know, the, the Mark 23 is a little bit longer than the, uh, the USPs, so... You know, I kind of like that. Even though it's got this little uh, angle at the front, uh, it's okay. I still like that. You know what? I want to save this thing. But wait, you say. The vault doesn't work. Well, no. Anton decided, hey, it's time to put the vault back in the game. There was a little bit of beta test earlier. 
but it's finally out for all the users. So let's go and save this thing. Well, you know what? Let me bring out the uh, USB tactical here. Let's chamber around and put that on safe. Let's put that on the table there. Well, let's get rid of that. Let's uh, make sure this is chambered and safe. Put that on the table. Oh, I'm a little too close to the wall there. You can't see my, uh, my uh, chaperone popping up. Let's go to the vault. Okay, so basically it's the same vault as usual, but uh, now better with some certain added features. Boom, there we go. <laughs> my first weapon USB. Actually, you know what? Let me delete that. Let's try the, the uh, USB tactical. There we go. Saved uh, that date right there. And uh, yeah, now there's a, uh, um, you know what? I don't know why I'm not doing this properly. Let me show you how uh, improved the Volt is now. Let's uh, get a carbine here. Uh, and let's see, hold on. I guess, uh, no, how do I do, there we go, okay. Uh, to celebrate the whole HK theme of this update, I'm going to get a uh, H51A1, A1, sorry. <clears throat> Let me just uh, spawn this, okay. Get me a nice, uh, uh, actually, you know what? I don't want that. I want the um, retractable stock. Oh, there we go. And uh, let's see, let's get a, a drum magazine. Well, you know, I'm saving this in the vault, so. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. Always, always forget. I don't know why. You have to pull back the bolt first. That's just proper. Get a, actually, let's get a different sort of uh, suppressor here. Let's get the Uzi suppressor. I like the thick, chunky suppressors. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> nice. All right, go back to the rifle. Uh, where is oh, there it is. And uh, let's do a let's do a uh, railed foregrip. There we go. And take uh, a tiny adapter for the top here. Should it be the other way? No, it's this way. Add on there like that. Get a nice uh, reflex sight for this baby. Mm. Oh, make sure it's on safe. Huh. Mm. Red dot tall would be nice, I think. No, that just looks, that looks silly. Let's try. Let's try a long hollow sight. Gotta fill out those proportions, you know? Nice thick gun. I want a nice thick gun. <laughs> it sounds so bad, but uh, yeah. Actually, how do you. Uh, it's been a while since I did this. I forgot how you. T <laughs> Oh my goodness, I forgot how you take off the uh, foregrip. Aren't you supposed to just, uh... No? Oh wow, this is, um, this is embarrassing. I was going to try this, but I don't think this fits. No, it doesn't. It was dumb. <laughs> it was a dumb idea, don't worry about it. Uh, let's see, I want a nice thick gun, so I want a nice thick foregrip. Not that thick, okay? I'm not going to get the Thompson foregrip. These large ones, there we go. Right there. Maybe a... Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I completely forgot about this. You can make a uh, 90 degree bend here. Let me... Let me uh, i to stick this on this thing. Come on. There we go. Oh, no. no. Oh, I'll work that on another gun somewhere. Oh, actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I want it to, uh, I want it to be like this. 
No, no, actually, well, well, this, well now, now this is the problem with all these attachments. I can't decide anymore. You know what? I'll save that for later. Uh, let's see. I need a laser. Laser's always nice. And a flashlight here. Put that on the front there. Oh, wow. Let's put that there. Well, you know what? What am I doing? I am so, so long here. Let me just get one of these uh, long rail extenders. Oh, beautiful. Let's take this light here. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Oh, here we go. There we go. Let's let's make this gun very, you know, top heavy in the or forward heavy on the front there. And actually, no, no, no. Okay. And then a laser. I need a laser. Um, tactical laser? No. Well, sure. Why not? Let's do a tactical laser. Put it on the other side here. Uh, you know what? I feel like that was a dumb idea. Let me just uh, do this. Let me get a short rail extender here. There we go. This may be on there. There we go. <laughs> All right, I was just trying to make a point here. I'm not really looking to make this thing really good. So let's go back into the vault. Let's save that. It's uh, chambered, right? There's a round inside. It is. Okay. It's on safe. Good. Now let's save this thing. Boop. There we go. And now it splits it up. Or you can show all, obviously. And I think you can move stuff around. Uh, could you? I forgot if there was an ability for that. But uh, yeah, you know. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of, uh, actually, I forgot about this. i got to scan that one too. Of these boom and uh, let's load it up oh, there we go and it should be loaded and ready to go let me check out the uh, yep it's chambered put it on uh, automatic and go hmm that's weird oh that's uh that's a strange bug right there. It's a nine I think that's a nine millimeter. Come back here. I think that is. I'm not too sure what that's doing in there, but uh yeah. Okay. Good stuff. You know what? I'm gonna throw this away. Oops, I hit the wall again. Move. Let me try that again. Hold on. That was kind of weird. Should have been ready to go. Yeah, see, that's a... That's a pistol caliber round right there. Huh. That's a bug that uh, Anton will fix eventually. Let me try <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. If this loads up with, like, a rifle caliber round... Oh, no. Okay. So yeah, that's one of the new things. It saves uh, whether there's a round in the chamber or not. So let's try just uh, saving this. Boop. Okay, let's get rid of this. This is the new one, right? Number three. And this one shouldn't be loaded. Yep, it's not loaded. So it, it knows whether you've uh, loaded a gun or not. So. You know, you can be a stickler about safety if you want. You want uh, unloaded guns all the time. You have to manually uh, you know, rack the slide. Or if you just want to uh, get into a game really fast with a with a gun that you like. It's already loaded, ready to go. And uh, I think it works on safeties as well. I'm not too sure. Let me just delete this for a minute. <laughs> That's kind of weird. 
Okay, should be loaded, ready to go. Let's scan that. Whoa, glitch out on me there. Let's put this one back. Oh, okay, so it's still on safe. Yeah, but there is a bug anyway, so I can't really fire this thing. So, you know, it, it uh, I could use all that stuff out. That's pretty cool. But this one is not loaded. Now it's loaded. But this one is immediately loaded. Which is pretty cool. So I'm going to delete the, uh, the not loaded one. Or the uh, loaded one. Because I'm a stickler for safety as well, so. Well, wait a minute. I just saw something there. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's a funny... That's a funny little thing. You got the special HK bullets. Hold on. Let me see if I can take that out. Ah, uh, yes. That is that is great. I love that. If you don't know, uh, H and K when they um, when they advertise their uh, USPs, uh, somebody when they were doing the promotional photos, they loaded the bullets backwards in the magazine. So basically, they were like. Uh, you know, they were showcasing the HK, right? And then they had the magazine like this. Or not quite. Let me get around there. Like that. And then, you know, they had the, the picture like this. But then, you know, avid uh, readers noticed that the, uh, the bullets were backwards in the magazine. I love that. That's a cool detail right there. <laughs> The special HK bullets. They load. They load backwards. Oh yeah, that's there. They are the magazine. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. That is craziness. I think these are the same bullets. No, this is uh, actually smaller. It's probably a nine millimeter, right? Hold on. Yep, probably a nine millimeter. Uh, fish. No, I can't do that. Yeah, it's a nine millimeter. So the uh, the bullet that comes out of the H uh, fifty one is a nine millimeter. Yeah, look at that. That is strange. Okay, let's throw this one away. <coughs> But I love that. That that's a really cool detail, Anton. Well, special HK bullets. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is great. In fact, I think you could probably uh, you could probably reenact that scene or that photo in the HCVR. Just got that and then something. Like that. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. That's there's a, there's a photo for you right there. Take a screenshot of that. Trying to shoot my right eye there. Oh, yeah, I still have this. I don't know why. All right, so there's the vault for you. And uh, it's back. It's great. You can uh, you can uh, you know separate the uh, different categories. Let's make a shotgun. Let's just do uh, scalpel. Stick that in there. Whatever. Put a 90 degree rail on the top. I don't know. You can put a you can put a sight. Let's see. Uh, let's put one of these babies in there. Let's put it on the 90 degree rail. You want to shoot like this if you want. <laughs> Like do this. Yeah, you know. And then uh, you can add some, uh, let's see, decorative stuff. You can, you can put the, uh, you know, Wiener Pride. Uh, yeah, there we go. And uh, stick a uh, Meatness uh, Cracker. Cracker Presser. Get some uh, Rudolph noses. 
all up on this thing. Uh, one right here. Looks like a, there's some cancerous uh, growths on this thing. Let's do some uh, canted iron sights. But only the rear ones. Where's the rear one? Here we go. Let's do a rear one here. Let's spawn another set uh, of uh, canteds. That's not it. That's not a rear one. Here we go. We can have multiple rear ones. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, uh, let's put like, uh, put like a scope on this thing. You know? Just, uh, oh, you know what? We're running out of space. I'm going to uh, add a uh, 90 degree here. Put one uh, right over here. I'm going to stick a. Uh, Okay, uh, come on, get on that. No, ah, this magazine is in the way. Yeah, you know, if you wanna, if you wanna do this, or if you wanna do this, let me stick the magazine back in there. Go back to the charging handle, and you know, um, what else can we put on this thing? We can put like uh, 15 rail risers. No, not 15, sorry. And then we'll put like, uh, no, no, that's not, that's not correct. That, you know, we gotta, we gotta do it correctly. Like, right there. Huh? You can do like, uh, what else? You can put like a foregrip on top of this one here. So we can grab it like that. And then uh can I put a stock on this thing. Let's put a miles or stock on this thing. There we go. Pretty crazy. Alright, let's get rid of these. Get rid of that. What else can I put on, uh, on this thing? Let's put like a light shines backwards into the eyes of the uh, person using it. <laughs> little micro torch. Uh, I'm running out of space here. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So then when you grab it, your hand gets burnt. And there we go. Let's, uh, let's save that, baby. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Let's see if it actually uh, loads it. All right, it seems it's got everything. Got the Cantids, got the uh, Rudolph noses, a little Wiener Pride, got one of those babies, got this, got the uh, crack presser, the scope that you can't really see. <laughs> yeah, seems like it's got, uh, oh, and the uh, stock. It's got all the uh, attachments. I think there's a limit. There's a limit of how many attachments you can put on there. But so yeah, you know, you got uh, again, you can sort by different categories of guns, which is pretty cool. All right, so what else is there that is new? I think I've showed off everything. Um, various bug fixes and stuff like that that Anton's uh, working on. That's pretty cool. So there you go. That is HCVR's 69th update. Really cool in my opinion especially the new USPs. I mean, come on. No. No. Take this baby out. Metal Gear! Oh, I just used up my only magazine. Well, that's okay. We'll spawn another one. Let's we'll spawn five of them. There we go. Oh, I forgot to, uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, man. My computer is screaming at me. Why did you do this to me? Uh, yeah, so, I mean, that's it. Uh, just pretty cool update overall. And I think I'm going to stop.
today.